Welcome to another one of my quick tip videos. I'm in the process of removing some old, bubbled up, scratched and discolored window tint from my vehicle. And the way I removed it was using a hand steamer, which is probably the best way to do it. You want to make sure you apply enough heat, and then you're going to grab the corner of the film on the inside and gently pull as you're heating the edge that's peeling away from the glass. Once you do that, more than likely if the tint has been on there for many years, there was a layer of glue left behind, which I'll show you in a minute, which was extremely, extremely hard, baked onto the glass. Now the steam will not loosen that up, and I've seen a couple of other methods shown on YouTube which do not work. One shows using acetone, another one shows using 91% rubbing alcohol, goo gone. None of those things work. So what I came across was a method that actually works and works extremely well. What you're going to do is you're going to take some ammonia, which is inside this bucket right here, and you're also going to take one of these Scotch-Brite copper scrubbing pads. And you want to use this one right here. It's not too coarse. And you're not going to scratch the glass. I checked out this whole window. I already did from here all the way up, all the way across the windshield. And I looked through it in daylight as well as with a light on the opposite side. And it did not scratch the glass, luckily, because I had no other way to remove this baked on adhesive. I also took a look at the defrost lines and as long as you hold this pad and you go left and right all right and over here along the edge I did go up and down and it did not damage the defrost lines using the ammonia with the scrubber once you're done you're gonna wipe it down with a paper towel wipe the opposite side and then you could look straight through to make sure there's no spots that you missed this is one method that will work and remove that old baked on adhesive from your window tint. You're going to take the copper scrubber, you're going to dip it in the ammonia, and you're going to rub with a good amount of pressure. At first I did it lightly, I was afraid I was going to damage my defrost lines, and the adhesive was hardly trying to move. When I put more pressure, the adhesive all came off, and I didn't see any damage being done to the defrost lines. Let me put the light on the inside to show you what the adhesive looks like, and then I'm going to take the scrubber, with the ammonia and I'm going to rub on the inside, clean it, dry it, and you'll see how well it works. Alright, I have my cell phone shining a light in the area. This is a very thick layer of dried adhesive. It is not the film. There was two layers that I peeled off and this was underneath the first layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the scrubber with the ammonia and show you right in this area how hard I'm scrubbing and then I'm going to dry it and you'll see that it's crystal clear. Okay, now what I'm going to do, always wear gloves. I have a glove on my right hand. Unfortunately, none on my left hand. I'll just wash my hands when I'm done. But if you're going to be doing the entire window, make sure you're wearing gloves. I'm going to try right over here. Let's keep rubbing. And what's going to happen, you're going to hear the sound change as you get through it. See over here, it's, it doesn't, you don't hear anything. Up here, you can hear it. So when you hear that it's no longer making that sound, you're going to know it's all off. Keep rubbing. Keep going. That should be good just to show you. Let me wipe off right here. Wipe over here. And as you can see, it all came off in this area right over here. This is one method that definitely works. Otherwise, you're going to be spending an awful lot of time trying to figure out how to remove that baked on adhesive from the window tint. And this is what it looks like when it's completed. You can see that the frost lines are still intact and it's crystal clear. In order to reach down here where it's very tight, you won't be able to get your fingers with the sponge. You only get to about halfway take a paint stick, go like this, alright, and then you're going to reach in with the paint stick and it should clear away that area.
and a shot from the inside as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.